a New York City-based chamber music ensemble. Um, we are the affiliate ensemble of Carnegie Hall. We're professional musicians. We love to play, um, you know, music uh, all over the world. We get to play in great concert halls, but uh, our mission is really to bring meaningful musical experiences to all people, no matter their background, um, their expertise, their economic status. Um, good. So, and then after the full chorus, it's done? For us, it's not about rehabilitation. I mean, that's just a bonus. It's about making music with people. And this program is a collaborative songwriting program. We're here for a week. Um, when we're here, we're inside for about six hours a day. And the beauty of music um, is that what comes out of making music together are these transformational, powerful changes that happen within a person and within a community. This is the fourth year that Dakota has been here. It's the third year that I've been involved with. And a lot of the transformation we've seen in our music program here is directly resulting from Dakota being here. A lot of the idea of that, of our character program in general is to kind of be the carrot and stick you know they, they have the other guys here say hey that's something I'd like to get involved with and since there are some disciplinary type you know restrictions to hopefully change the culture of the institution and we have seen that and we've got a waiting list now of guys who are interested in getting in so yeah the music program has had an awful lot to do with that. Dakota has shown so much love they they are like family and they give us the opportunity to express um, emotions, to show for talent. And um, I just would never imagine being incarcerated and getting this privilege to play with some professionals. Usually five days of workshops and then always ends with a culminating performance. So the performance is really key to have a goal and then leading up to that, it's really breaking out into groups, writing songs together, um, working on those songs, editing, um, sort of finding um, finding the show that just kind of gets born out of this process of being together for six hours a day, uh, six days a week. Every year we have a theme. Um, we try to base it on a piece of classical music. Um, this year is the 50th anniversary of Aaron Copland's Lincoln Portrait. So, um, and the guys have also been really inspired by Hamilton, the smash hit Broadway musical. We listened to Hamilton several times and uh, we did a group exercise where we just uh, listened to the lyrics and got some ideas of how we can present uh, Lincoln's life in a characteristic way that um, our audience will be right there with them. So what we did, maybe two or three weeks, we spent just researching, 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 then we'd come together and we made an outline of his life and we collaborated with each other and if the, the songwriters, because everybody didn't study, if you had songwriters that didn't know about this, per, uh, this section of his life, they would go grab the person that knew about it and bring him over there and make sure everything was right. To be in the program, you do not have to have musical experience. You need to be, you know, really excited about it. You need to show up every day. Um, but so we have some beginning guitar players in the class. We have a lot of singers who have never, you know, gotten up there in a chorus before. So, um, and then we have some master musicians who are part of our group. Um, you know, people who have been playing all of their lives, and I'm just really um, grateful that they get the chance to keep working on their music and contribute you know musically to this community because music really keeps us alive and um, I really believe that. At each performance we have about a hundred uh, inmates from around the institution that aren't involved with it that come in um, and invariably afterwards I'll have somebody come up to me and say what do I have to do to get involved with this and uh, so you know I'll take a look at what the situation is and tell them and as a result of that, we've had guys to, you know, I mentioned about the disciplinary issues. They say, well, you know, I'm, I've got to change what I'm doing where I am to get there, and so that happens. So, yeah, this absolutely, not just over and above the entertainment value of it, 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 it spreads around the institution. Yeah, it makes me want to push harder, have more to accomplish. But uh, as far as in here, um, what we're getting ready to uh, present to this yard and 
uh, to uh, onlookers, it really gives me a sense of uh, placement. Other guys on the yard that may be accustomed to using a medium of violence as their expression. They see this and they see what we're accomplishing and they want to be a part of it. So it's not just incentive for us, and it's not just, okay, well, we're the ones that's striving to be good. They're seeing it too, because we've already made the statement, okay, however I was living before, it wasn't working. But while I'm striving to be good, and you see the unity in there, you see the guys in there, while we're striving to be good, let's, let's try to get somebody else and, and see if we can help them strive in that same direction. For myself and for my colleagues, we really care about um, the fact that mass incarceration is such a huge issue in our country and the fact that also programming, you know, while people are serving their time, um, they need to have outlets for bringing about change within themselves. You know, I think music just has this um, ability to cross barriers, to um, communicate, uh, better than anything, better than language, better than, you know, any sort of other avenue for communication. And um, we think music is the way to, to sort of tap into that and to um, make everybody, you know, feel honored and cherished as a human being.